doing the SCT book, it's just telling me the correct answer. It's just telling me the correct answer is of why the answer was correct whenever I got the answer. And then it'll tell me about, you have to check out the uh, singular pronouns, verbs, and like that. There, should, not, I'm not asking you about the SCT book. I'm just asking about this sentence. What about this sentence tells you that it that option C is a good choice? Because they were outmoded, and I was like saying it was going to be out of date. Okay, I don't. What I'm trying to determine is if you guessed the answer or if you actually know the answer. There is something in the sentence that makes it clear why this is or is not the answer, and you can't use the word outmoded. So assume that that word is gone now. What else do you notice in the sentence? Okay. What in the sentence refers to being out of date? Being out of date? Okay. Tell me more about dates. What do you know about dates? Dates were uh, the months and the years. Okay, and how are they represented on, what's another way you can represent days, months, years? June 17, 1984. Sure, you're giving me an example, but. Okay, could you read what the, my cursor is pointing at? Yeah, the cursor is pointing at 17 years. Okay, how does that relate to being out of date? How is that being out of date? Um, it's not because it's 17 years ago. So, yeah. To me, 17 years refers to time. Yeah. And time is related to dates. Okay. Is that perhaps a justification for why C is correct? Oh, I see. It's right. Yes, uh, because that would explain seventeen years ago it's, was about what, time. Well, that was that's not, and that's what I was trying to get you to tell me is is the reason the answer is C is because it says 17 years ago, which refers to time and out of date refers to time. Yeah, I just got the right answer. That's harsh. The, the, what? I, and again, I, okay, I said, I asked you, I asked you, did you guess? Because I don't know if you guessed. I still don't know. I didn't guess. I didn't guess. Well, then, but you couldn't tell me why it was correct answer. So I don't really know. Okay. So, I'm looking for you to give me more of an explanation. I know this is hard for you. You have to do better. You can't just tell me the answer and say it's it's the right answer because it's the right answer. All right. The spies conducted a con a con covert operation. Are there any words that you can eliminate? Um, uh, contested and convert. Uh, I can be able to eliminate a. I can be able to uh, foreign foreign. Why can you eliminate foreign? Because it's not even part of the operation. The operation needs to be something very urgent like that for spies to okay. go. Like something very dangerous or something. Well, it could be it could be dangerous, and it could be on foreign soil. So I would say I cross that foreign. Okay, I'm not hearing a great explanation for why that is, but let's that's okay. Um, covert means secretive. 
Are there any words there that mean secretive? Hidden. It's a hidden operation. Yes, it is hidden. Now, it could be illegal, but there's always... It sort needs of the to be best. hidden because you said it's secretive, so it's hidden. All right. Next question here. Go ahead and read this one out loud for us, please. Okay. The baseball player's malice toward the referee was revealed in his spiteful remarks in the media, which almost ruined the referee's career. All right. What does the word malice mean? Malice? Yes. And if you're not sure, maybe look it up on the internet. Malice means, uh, um, okay, yeah, I can search them in the internet just like you said. Okay. Sure, sure. Why uh, not? It's evil, evil. Yes, evil or hate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you think spiteful remarks are good or bad? Rude. You've got to answer my question, Sarge, because that will help lead you towards yes, the answer. Yes, okay. It, it, it remarks for evil. They are, they, they are, spiteful is are hurtful. They're hurtful. Yeah. Remarks. In which that is very, in which that is like type of, uh, like evilness. Okay. Yeah. Evil is also like for revenge too. Sure. I agree. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So for in his spiteful remarks in the media, uh, I would say um, it's just. Vindictive. What does vindictive mean? Go ahead and look it vindicator. up on the Internet. Yeah, go ahead and yeah look I that know one the up. vindicator in Minecraft. Vindictive is not the same as a vindicator. Yeah, it's just like from Minecraft. <laughs> I don't think there'll be any questions about Minecraft on here, so you'll have to. Vindictive is having a strong uh, uh, is having a strong uh, desire for revenge. So I would I so I guess vindictive. Yes, very good. Got it correct. It is it is vindictive. Why isn't it unpleasant? Uh, unpleasant doesn't even ever re 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 refer to evil. It's just something that's just not helpful like that i agree so unpleasant could be something like math tutoring math tutoring in which like in which math tutoring is very unpleasant for you because you think it's boring sure that would be an example of that okay mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and uh, read this one okay. out loud for us, please. Yeah, although Zachary is too is much too inexperienced for the for the uh, mid-general um, position, he's a willful ma young man and obliterately refuses to do to withdraw his application. Okay, so let's read that first clause there again. Although Zachary is much too experienced for the managerial position, so should Zachary get the managerial position? Yes. Why should he get it? Um, he show. Uh, why would he get his application? That's not what I asked. I'm looking. We're looking at the first clause. The first clause, Sarish. Although All Zachary exactly. is much too inexperienced for the managerial position, so does he have enough experience for the position? Well, no, it's not because he's in because he's just kind. He, he was not. just thinking he's too much. He does not have enough experience okay yeah now what does it mean if he refuses to withdraw his application what does that mean he refuses to withdraw his application mm 
He refuses to withdraw his application. Can I search on the internet? Yes, I mean, with if you know what the word withdraw means, it's not a that's not a super. Well, yeah, withdraw. I know word. withdraw. Okay, well, what does withdraw mean? Withdrawal is like um. I'll just search it up. Take away something. Okay, so he's not going to take away his application. But what does the what does the first part say? Can he get the job based on the first part? What? Uh, what? Did, wait, what? It's because of the. It's because of the. It's because of the. It's because of the talking. It's just lagging. Let's go back to the what's in yellow. What does the part in yellow mean? Inexperienced. Okay, so can he get the job? No, because he refuses. No, because because he's inexperienced. What is he, ref he? He can't get the job, but what is he refusing to do? He he was uh, refusing to um, draw his application. Right. So he can't get the job, but he's not pulling out his, op uh, his application. Yeah. So is he fully reluctant, constant, or stubborn? He's foolishly. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't love this question. I. I think there's a couple of other words that. What do you? What's going on? What are you talking about? Well, they. They unlike the other ones, because because he's a willful young man, I think that plays into it. Um, no, no, no. That means he... I, I, well, this question is very, um, very, um, um, and this question is very good for me. Okay, this question is good for me. Why is it not good for you? Because it, it it's not written clearly. If you decide that willful young man means that he does whatever he wants, which is what willful means. You have to decide whether he's doing what he what you have to decide if doing what he wants is foolish or perhaps he's stubborn. Okay. You are right. I believe the answer that they're looking for is foolish, but this one isn't as clear as as the others. Hmm. And it goes back to the fact that he probably doesn't have enough experience for for the job. Okay. Yeah, so I pick foolish, Lee. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this next question mm -hmm. here. Go ahead and read it out loud, please. Okay. His neighbor's a super fine, a super uh, thick, uh, official, super official. superficial remarks trivialize the property line dispute and infuriate Malcolm. Okay. Uh. Misleading, I would guess. Why would you say misleading? What's the definition of misleading? Misleading is where you're not uh, following the directions. You're just misleading from the group. Um, misleading is is kind of going the wrong direction. Yeah, it's like you're it, not following it, the directions. It's it says uh, it says that he trivialized the property line. What does trivialize mean? Trivialized. Does that mean to take something seriously or not seriously? Take something seriously, I would guess. Yes. Trivialized is the opposite of being serious. You may, you, you take things some, something that is serious and you say, ah, eh, it's not that serious. Now, Malcolm wants to take it seriously, right? 
Malcolm's mm -hmm. upset, but that's not what the word is referring to. It's referring to not being serious. Which of these words down here means not serious or Okay. Mm Let me give you another 30 seconds before we move on to another question. Okay. I'm picking, I'm going to be uh, picking. We're not guessing. If you don't know, just say, I don't know. Oh, I got it. Insulting. Okay. I, I have the, I have the suspicion you may be using the internet to answer these. And, and that's not. No, I was not using the internet. Okay. Um, because I, I am going out to the internet to find these. I mean, like, if you just want to go out the internet and find the answers, that's fine. But, like, I don't have problems like this made up. You, we have to. That's why I'm giving them to you because we're going to look at them together. I mean, so. I would recommend not doing that. Okay, she showed okay. a blatant disregard for the rules. Okay. She showed a blanket discard for the rules. Disregard for the rules. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. My internet was uh, my internet was um uh losing connection, but I have to but I have to put in my internet in and it's Okay. I'm okay. I know what uh, I know what it is, Matthew. Okay. Huh? What is what is the answer? Okay. Last minute. Okay. What in what in the question here or, or sentence talks about time? Well, she showed a Blainton. Blainton means bad behavior is showing. I agree it's bad behavior. It doesn't mean last minute. Okay.
there's nothing about time here. The, you're right. It's an obvious disregard for the rules. But is that the best word? Is that is that no? Is it's that not. What means? Well, I'm, I, it might be. I mean, is it hidden? Well, is it's it not hidden? contracting to bad behavior. So obvious doesn't um, obvious is like nothing compares to bad behavior. It's just something where something is just interesting or something. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, the word. The, the, sometimes you look at the answers and you decide, okay, it's not hidden. Okay, like let's say it's not hidden. And it's not last minute because we're not talking about time. So we're down to rebellious and obvious. Okay. So if you disregard rules, you're being rebellious. But is that what the word blatant means? No. Okay. What does the word blatant mean? Bad behavior. Yes. But does it mean obvious or rebellious? Rebellious. Did you look up the word blatant on the internet? Yes. Okay. Does it talk about the word obvious as being one of its synonyms? Oh, yes, it does. Done openly or unashamedly? Yes. Okay. So the correct answer is? Obvious. Is A, obvious. Okay. Do you need a short break? Yeah, short break. How much time? For seven minutes. I'll, I'll meet you at that five, at 7.33, okay? Okay.
All right, Cyrus, let me know when you're there. We'll get started here again. Okay. So if you haven't noticed yet, you can actually look up the word that we're um, looking, that we're, we're, we're analyzing. You could actually look it up and then uh, look for the synonyms. Okay. So if you looked up right. like flamboyant, you will find one of these, these words here. Now, you don't have to. There's actually other words in the sentence that explain what's going on. But that's up to you. Like, I'm happy if you're just going to look up the, the word because you'll remember something also. All right. Okay. Her fashion sense was usually described as flamboyant, but on the night of the party, um, Tania's outfit was uncharacterly modest. Okay. Like I said, your choice. You can either look up the word flamboyant and look for the synonyms, and one of them will probably be in the list here, or you can use some other keywords um, to to look for uh, for it. This one is drawing a a comparison between the word modest and flamboyant. So they're not the same; they're the opposites. Flamboyant is opposite of modest. Okay. Come on, Cyrus, you're not giving me very much effort here. I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's low, it's showy. Yes. Very good. Yep. Did you did you look it up or did you figure out the opposite of mod modest? I looked it up. Okay. All right. Yep. Are you taking the test this Saturday? No. Okay. This Saturday is the one of the test dates. All right, let's take a look at this one. Okay. Do you want me to read it for you? Um, I'm reading it. Okay. It's Mr. Powers was so gullible that he believed even the most outlandish uh, excuses of NCR employees. Okay. So gullible.
he was um, naive. Why is it naive? What does that mean? Naive is like, um, it's like whenever you're saying, um, it's showing like some kind of a uh, lack of what they see, lack of experience. Okay, I would agree. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yep. All right. Let's look up another one here. So if you look at how much time has passed and how many questions we've done, I know we took a little little break. We're taking about three minutes per question. Okay. And that's a little bit too slow for the actual exam, but the, you are getting most of them correct. So that's also a good, a good sign as well. Okay. So tr let's take a look at this one. You cannot become a certified teacher without completing the prerequisite student teaching assignment. If you remember, we actually looked at something in your Algebra 2 class about prerequisites. Okay. You cannot become a certified teacher without completing the perquisited uh, student teaching assignment. Prerequisite. 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 Okay. I don't even know what that word is. Okay. Well, none of these words should look familiar to, with, to you, but you should take a look at the options and say to yourself, huh, do any of those look reasonable okay 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 Zarish, do you feel like you're giving me a good effort tonight? I'm giving you a good effort. I know what the answer is. That's not, I mean, it, it, I don't feel like you're engaged. I mean, I feel like you're just, just, uh, you know, not trying your best here to, to look at the sentences and decide. I know what the answer is. I know what it is. Okay. What is the answer? Okay. The answer is required. Okay. I agree. Now, why is it required? Why is it because an it, because it, it's like the opposite for prequisite. That's why. No, it's not the opposite. Prerequisite, prerequisite. Yeah, prerequisite is like wherever you're taking like something very important, like required. It's like required for you to take it. You have to take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's look at another one here.
All right. Go ahead and uh, look at this one, please. Okay. Charles, aware of his susceptibility to gum disease, is diligent about flossing. Okay. Diligent. Does that mean that he does a lot of it or not a lot of it? Does a lot of it or? Uncomfortable. Does he do a lot of it or not a lot of it? You know, you never seem to answer my questions, which is important. Uh, he doesn't seem right. to do a lot of it, but sometimes he if he does some of it. But he's just afraid that if he does a lot of it, it's gonna it's gonna cause him to get gum disease. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. It's saying that he's likely to have gum disease, and flossing okay. is considered good for you. So, should you do a lot of flossing? Should you do do a lot of flossing? No. Yes, you should. Yes. Well, you well you should just brush your teeth with like uh what your uh what brush. This isn't a commercial for the American Dental Association. Um, if you have gum disease, flossing is important to do. Would you do a lot of it or a, not a lot of it, if it's good for you? Yeah. A lot of it or not to a lot of it. I do it, not a lot of it. What is good for you? Why wouldn't you do a lot of it? I guess like I exercise. like brushing because I'm not, I, this I'm isn't not an lying, opinion. but I just really okay. want to brush. All right. We're going to stop here for uh, for today.